flown to us for the day for fire sprinkler demonstration and a little bit of training. So we have active uh, firefighting heads, sprinkler heads. This one is actually a fusible link that's gone. That's our backup system because in the fire service we always try and do everything in tubes. So that one is live. There won't be water coming out of there. That's controlled by the back. That's kind of, if the fire gets away, we'll turn that one on and it'll douse the room. The active one is over on that wall. And uh, that's the one that's actually going to pop off. So we want you to look for two things when we do this. We'll start the fire in here. It basically gets, this acts like a drape or a curtain that everybody's got in their bathroom, bedroom, and that type of thing. The fire will actually jump onto that, work its way up. A little bit will come out underneath this header, so there will be some fire and a little bit of smoke that comes in this room. So um, if you stay low, you'll be fine. You won't have any issues. At any point in time, if you have to leave because you're getting a little bit freaked out, just say help, stay low, and, and the gentlemen that are working the doors will make sure that you get out safely. Um, so when we activate that, pay attention for two things. Are you working the, the door? Fire alarm goes off first, it'll sound, and that will be a certain amount of time, and then also watch and kind of guesstimate when the actual sprinkler goes, because what we're trying to do is keep that water damage, or keep the fire damage to a minimal. The sprinklers aren't designed to put the fire out, they're designed to keep it at bay and, and slow it down. So, does anybody want to leave the trailer? No. And then the guys in back, I need to have just two people back there because we have to have a walkway through. So if you want to go right in the glass, yeah, I'll be great. Right okay. And then I've got two gentlemen that will be safety officers that will be working the door. One of you guys can stay in. Yeah. Wow, Whichever one you want to do. So oh, so watch. That's okay. Well, okay. One of these gals. And then they'll close the doors. So everybody's ready? Yep. Okay. So this is just simulating a bedroom fire. Garbage can in the corner. Happens to be right above the window. We're going to build a little bit of smoke. See it kind of fill in that room a little bit and then it will come through that dormer and start coming out into the room we're in. That's still just on the paper, isn't it? That's filling up yep. fast. You can see there's still some active fire in the garbage can. You'll see it come out of there in a second or two once it gets to the drapes and starts building. There you go. There's the fire alarm at 35 seconds. Now if you watch the head of the dormer there, at the door, you'll actually see a little bit of fire. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Eric! Go ahead and open up the doors. And we're good to go. If you don't want to breathe any more smoke, you can step right out 